one of my viewers has big plans for next summer. No, it's not summer reading. They are planning a giant event at their branch and they want to know how do we get everybody at the community excited and to come to this event. It's a mashup of marketing and party planning in this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Hi there, I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com. Head to that website, look for the Library Marketing Show tab, and you can ask a question for a future episode or nominate someone doing great work in library marketing for kudos. I do have kudos to give away later in the episode. Before we get there and to our tips today, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on LinkedIn so you never miss an episode. And like I said, I have some tips for this viewer. Her name is Megan, and they are planning a 20th anniversary slash ribbon cutting for their library next summer, wanting to know how to get everybody excited. I bet there are some of you who have been in this situation. Head down to the comments and give Megan your advice. Here's my big tip for creating excitement around an event like this. Oftentimes for anniversaries or openings, we have predictable like a predictable program. We have speeches, dignitaries come, maybe local legislators. We do the ribbon cutting. We give away refreshments. We do tours. My big tip for getting people excited and for creating a fear of missing out on these events is to add something unexpected, a surprise, maybe a surprise donation. Maybe you do a time capsule, but all you're going to do is say, Something big is going to happen. You don't want to miss this event. And you're going to do something big like a time capsule or a surprise thing. You could even do a giveaway door prizes. You can ask local businesses for gift cards or other things to give away that only people who attend the event can get. But create some kind of surprise element that folks aren't going to be able to participate in unless they show up at the event. I had a friend who did a couple of, uh, while he was working in a library, did a couple of branch renovations. And his big tip for getting people to come to the renovations and the grand openings was personal invitations, which is really time intensive. But his staff wrote out invitations and then went to all of the surrounding businesses that were around that branch and personally handed an invitation to the folks who were working at that business. They also sent postcard invitations to everyone in the neighborhood surrounding the branch that was reopening. Yes, it's time intensive. Yes, it's a little expensive, but it really worked. His events, I went to one of them. I couldn't find a parking space. I had to park like a mile away and walk because so many people had come. And this was not a large metropolitan library branch. This was a suburban branch, sort of in the middle of nowhere. It was a huge event. And that's because his team took the time to personally invite folks. So those are my two big things. You're also going to do the regular sort of marketing stuff for an event like this. You'll do emails, you'll do social media, and you can have a lot of fun on social media with Reels and TikTok looking back on the history of your branch. But you want to create excitement by having some kind of surprise at your event, and you want to personally invite people in the neighborhood to come attend. I hope that's helpful, Megan, and I'm really curious to see what my viewers, what their advice is for you. So head down to the comments if you have something to add that'll help Megan out. All right, we're going to give away kudos today's episode. And kudos was a submission from Mary at Gross Point Public Library. Hi, Mary. Mary's a good friend of mine. She wants to nominate Kelly Rembert and the Southfield Public Library. They were featured in a local news segment on an, ABC, an NBC affiliate. Um, they were featured in a segment that's called In Your Neighborhood. And the folks at this NBC affiliate chose Southfield Public Library for the location of getting to know Southfield. I've got a clip from the show. It's really great coverage. Again, getting coverage on a television station, radio station, newspaper, magazine. That is amazing because it gets your library in front of a whole audience of people who may not have ever considered coming to the library or might not have thought of the library for a long time. So kudos to the Southfield Public Library. Thank you, Mary, for that submission. That's it for today's episode. This channel is filled with lots more marketing advice for libraries. If you are interested in learning more, head to the next video and I'll see you there.